Welcome back everybody. This is part two in our bottle modeling series and let's go ahead and just jump right into it. So if you remember in the last tutorial we had this bottle, we had this picture here and we took this picture and in Photoshop we removed the background with the lasso tool um, and we now we have our bottle without lens distortion or minimized lens distortion. There's still some there. And then um, and then we have removed and just given it a white background. So let's go ahead and jump over here into Blender. I'm using Blender 2.79a. Um, I'm hoping that 2.8 comes out sometime soon. Maybe it's already out, I haven't checked in a while. Anyway, uh, let's go ahead and start out and let's fix our UI a little bit. So I'm gonna come here and I'm gonna grab the three little lines in the corner and just drag up and I'm gonna close the outliner over here in the bottom left hand corner of our 3D view, I'm going to close the timeline. Those are all great windows, we just don't need them right now. Um, now I'm going to double hit A. Oh, I can turn on my display keys. There we go. Double hit A and then X and delete. Um, now let's go to 1, which is the front view, 5, which is the orthographic view. Now we'll hit N to pop open our properties panel and we'll hit background images there. Add image, open image, and let's just copy and paste that. Hit enter, bottle reference, JPEG, open image. All right, there we go. Now I'm gonna just move this up. I believe, is that, oh, wrong one. Oh man, come on Jacob, add in a reference image, this is my Y, I'm going to move it up just so that where this, this bottom of the bottle right here um, is, is flush with the, um, the grid at zero, zero. Um, Okay, so now we have our bottle all right there. So let's go ahead. Um, there's a couple different ways we can model this. We could either draw the edge of our bottle all the way around and then come up. And then we could take that edge and we could revolve it all the way around our object and create the bottle that way. Um, although that's really good in certain instances, uh, I don't really enjoy that method so much. So instead, I'm going to hit Shift A and I'm going to go to a cylinder. And I'm just going to create a cylinder and I'm going to bring um, that down the vertices to 16. Because we're just not that crazy. Um, and I'm just going to move this up here so that it sits on the grid. It doesn't have to be perfect. And now, um, see here. What's the best way to go about this? I'm going to tab into edit mode and I'm going to hit S for scale and then X and then shift and Z. And what that does is it allows me to scale out in, uh, in two axes. I did X and, and Z. If I had done X and Y it would allow me to scale out in the X and then the vertical Y axis. I don't know why you have to hit Z. Um, and anyway, it, it doesn't make a whole lot of sense to me, that system, but it's how it works. Um, as you can see, the center of our bottle is maybe it's just a little bit off. Um, and I'm just going to really, honestly, I'm just going to worry about this side of the bottle over here. So I'm not too worried about this side. Okay? Now I'm going to hit Z. A to deselect and B for box select and I'm going to select all of these vertices and I'm just going to pull them up just like that until I kind of find this line right here. And now I'm going to hit E for extrude and it already has me extruding in the Z axis or Z if you're not from America and uh, then hit S and scale that in about like that. And now we're going to hit E again, bring it up, and left 
mouse button click. And then E again, bring it up, left mouse button click, and scale. E again, bring it up. All right. So if I hit five and I hit one and Z, so I can see my wireframe or my shaded view, uh, you know, we kind of have the shape of the bottle. One thing we don't have is um, the curved bottom edge here. So let's go into face mode, which is this little button down here. Right click on this face, you know, right, right mouse button click. And let's hit E for extrude and S for scale. And let's scale that in all about there. Okay. Now, let me, I've got the bottle here. As you can see, there's these, this bottom part of the, uh, the bottle is right there. Ideally, what I would do is, if, if this was like, you know, for a super professional client, I would have taken pictures from the top, from the bottom, from the side, um, or I would have just asked for the product and then um, been able to look at it. All right, now that we have inset these faces, let's go ahead and hit E and S again to extrude it and inset it a little bit more. And let's pull that up. I'm not gonna get super technical and fancy about the, the underside because most likely that's not a central part of the bottle that we're gonna see. So finally, I'm just gonna hit E and S, extrude it in. And then I'm going to hit Alt-M and say Merge at Center. Now I'm going to hit Control-R and I'm going to add in an edge loop on the, the long part of the bottle. And I'm going to bring that edge loop down until it's about equal distance from as, as the bottom of the bottle is here is equal distance. I want it to be about equal distance from this edge up. Um, that's good enough. Okay, now Alt, right mouse button click on that edge loop to select the entire edge loop and then Control B for a bevel and then just pull back. And we have a bevel. Now let's add in three edge loops and we are already looking much better than we were. I'm gonna hit one and five go back into my orthographic view um, and I'm going to grab alt right click on this oh wait, wait wait before we do that we have to add in the edge loops so control R and add in an edge loop about here and control R add in an edge loop about there same thing here just add in some edge loops and what I'm looking for is for them to be roughly um, same distance away from our edge, our edge loop that we want to bevel. And then Alt right mouse button click and Control B. And Alt right mouse, right mouse button click and Control B. Okay, and these I'm going to leave. Alright, we're looking pretty good here. Now, I'm going to go to face mode and right click and select this face. And then 1 and 5, front view, and then orthographic. And I'm going to hit E and S, and I'm going to extrude this out. So you can see here, it's extruded out. Um, and now I'm going to hit E again and pull it up. And I'm just making that little lip there. Uh, and now I'm going to hit V because I want to see what I'm doing. So for the cap, we don't need to pull it in too much. So E and S, and you can see we pull it in about, I'm just looking at the edge, I'm looking right over here at this edge. And then again, E for extrude, pull it up, E for extrude, pull it up again, and scale it out. E for extrude, pull that up, all the way to the top. Okay. Now this is just the same process 
as the bottom of the bottle. So E for extrude, S for scale. Scale it in just a little bit. Control R. Add in an edge loop. Alt right click. And then uh, Control B for bevel. And just pull that bevel out. Select the inside. E for extrude, S for scale. Scale it in. E for extrude, S for scale. Scale it in. Alt M and at center. All right, now I'm gonna tap A twice or A once since I didn't have anything selected, um, and then I'm gonna go to shading and UVs over here on my tools panel. If you don't see that tools panel, hit T. T open and closes that, and then I'm just gonna go smooth and I'm gonna smooth this whole thing out. Hit tab and go into this view. Now you can see there's some issues here, um, like this does not seem as sharp as it should and things like that, so let's go ahead and fix those issues right now. Let's tab and let's alt right click in this ring of faces and then let's hit control and the, the number pad plus button and just keep hitting that until you've selected all the way down to that lip and then P and selection. So now we've separated our cap and our bottle into two separate pieces. I'm gonna select my cap, hit M, and I'm gonna move it to layer two. The reason I'm doing that is because I actually wanna add in this, uh, the, the, I guess the spout of the bottle. So let's go ahead and grab our edges from here and alt right click and hit S and scale that in just a, a hint and then E for extrude and Z for the Z axis or Z axis and just pull that up. Okay. Now if I tab out of edit mode and shift click this layer I can bring both layers in at once. I'm going to hit 1 5 and Z because I want to see where my spout is. With my bottle still selected I'm going to hit tab and I'm just going to pull that up until about there. 5 Z. Okay. Um, Alright. I'm going to end this tutorial here because we've gotten the basic model down. Um, in the next tutorial, we're going to add some of the, oh, what are those called? I can't remember the word. The threading. The threading. Uh, um, I can show you on our model here. I'm going to add this threading around it. Um, we'll probably give the bottle thickness. And then, um, and then on top of that, we'll probably add a label, um, hopefully. So anyway, I thank you guys so much for watching. If you would like to like or subscribe, I would love that. If you don't want to do that, I totally understand. Um, and I just hope that you have a wonderful day. And I'll see you next time.